you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. We, we, we need a debate. Stop complaining. Start the debate, you coward. Go ahead. Stop complaining. You promise a debate. Now, Stop now you are coming to ask me for my face. What does have to do with the debate? Because you are a coward. You are trying to find an excuse. So we don't, so we don't start. Listen. 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 Last one. No one muted you, Mr. Bashir. Hang up on if him and let him go. We don't debate. want kids. If you don't, huh? if you don't, don't start, hide, don't you, hide. You are the one is hiding. Your daughter is hiding. Someone you're like coward. you. You are the one is hiding. Huh? Okay. okay, show me your face. Show me your you're face. You're coward. You're coward. Wait, you are me. hiding. I want, I want you to show you're me. You're hiding. Your... Show me. Stop oh, look hiding. Stop hiding. Look I'm not hiding. You're coward. I'm not hiding. I did. I did a hundred. You are Christian. Potato, you, hey, are, you are a potato. Please, you, hey, you are a potato. You are Christian princess. You are, you are Christian princess. Please, just please, him. Just uh, him. Remove go host. Remove go host. Just to mute him. Get, let him go. Yeah. Remove just, go host. just let him kill. Let him go. Let him go. Uh, go, go, go. Uh, the coward. You see, you see how remove. coward they are. They claim that they can debate us, and now they want to because they knew this is a Christian prince. They knew I will make them shish kebab. We made them shish kebab before even we start. And then he claimed that we, you know, uh, uh, you took too much time. We are waiting for you. I am here. I am here waiting before even we start because I promised to come here to debate those guys. And look at them. The first one run, the second one come, and now he is complaining only he want to see my face. Why you don't ask Allah to show his face? I am not your God to worship me. Your God in the Quran says he will never speak unless he is from behind a veil. Your God is a female. I challenge you to tell me why Allah wearing a veil. I never heard of a God wearing burqa. That's your God. For me, I'm not hiding myself, you coward. I made a hundred of seminars in the Philippines. I went and made a seminar in Cagayan de Oro, in Manila, in Makati, in everywhere. And Muslims come to my seminars. And you are a coward. And now you are trying to make any excuse so you will not speak to me. Coward. Islam being destroyed without even a fight. So you harass those Christians. You claim that you can debate them. And now you came speaking for 20, 30 minutes, just complaining about, you know, and, and when we mute you because you don't want to start the debate, you complain about muting you. What a potato you are. We want any Muslim who have the courage to join us right now. Not a kid like this guy. This guy. He is he's a person who have a baby in his belly. He is in the delivery room and the and the baby is not coming out. Why? Because it's coming out from his anus. Actually, Muhammad in the in Muhammad he promised the Muslims that every Muslim in the heaven of Allah is going to deliver a baby from his anus. And let me show you the reference. Here we go. And Mr. Bashir, I would love you to show, send me a selfie of you giving a baby in the heaven of Allah, and you tell me how you can deliver it. This is Muhammad speaking in Sunan Ibn Majah, hadith number 4338, saying, when a believer, he wants a child in paradise, he will be conceived and born and grow up in a short while according to his desire. Can you believe it? He will conceive it. He will deliver it. I never heard of such a cult like this. So Mr. Bashir, already he have the baby. He is not waiting for heaven. And the baby is not coming out because now he is making an excuse for staying in the delivery room. Otherwise, if we start a debate about Islam, he will look like a fool. But he is already like a fool. Isn't he? Who is a Muslim who have the courage and the knowledge to call us and debate us? None of them. Have you ever heard of a religion says a man, he will be pregnant and he will deliver a baby? Have you? 
that is Muhammadan. So I'm so happy for you, Mr. Bashir, that one day when you go to heaven, your belly will become so big. And I'm not going to ask you who is the father of the baby who you will deliver. I'm not going to ask you the baby will come out from where. This is embarrassing. But I can feel it right now that you have the same pain of delivering a baby. More than 25 minutes saying nothing but complaining, and he want to see my face. He don't want to debate no more because this is the excuse. My friends, fellow Filipinos, this is a great example about how coward they are. They harass you, but when they face the one who knows Islam very well, they bow down. Do we have any other Muslim would like to call us and join us? Somebody is brave to talk about Islam. He will not ask me, show me your face, show me your face. This is what the coward Rashid and the San he did. He was, he was a challenge yes. the Christians. He was yes, at the end. He was a challenge the Christians. What about Will uh, later L. Tilton? What about uh, Derek wanted to ask questions because Derek is uh, like almost be converted to, to be a Muslim. Oh, that's good. You will convert to Islam. Allah will make your penis very long. That's good. <laughs> Why anyone want to convert to Islam anyway? <laughs> Go ahead. What is the question? Uh, brother, De brother Derek, you may ask question, Brother Derek. Hindi daw makapasok si Bashir. Minag-remove. Uh, uh, no one. No one. No one remove. No one remove. Uh, bro. Uh, go, go ahead, bro. Uh, Derek, you may ask Brother Christian Prince about your question. Mr. Christian Prince, what yes, is the first Muslim? What is what? Who is the first? Who is the first Muslim according to him? Well, according to me, there's no first Muslim because none of them was a Muslim. But according to Muhammad, because he's a madman, sometimes he says uh, it's Adam. Sometimes he says it's Abraham. Sometimes he says it was him. So this is why the Quran is a stupid book. In the same time, Muhammad, he never was a Muslim. Was he? And we can prove it from the Quran. Because a Muslim is someone who follow the law and the teaching of Allah. Do you agree? Yes, according to their teachings. All right. But Muhammad never followed the law of Allah. Muhammad is a privilege. So a Muslim, he can marry four. Muhammad have tons of women. A Muslim, he have to pay dowry if you want to get a woman to marry her. Muhammad, he don't have to. A Muslim, he have certain share of the war. Muhammad have fifth, the same as Allah, equal to Allah. A Muslim, he, there's things he cannot do. As an example, no woman she can offer herself to the Prophet, to, to, to a Muslim, but she can offer herself to the Prophet. And this is a privilege for Muhammad only. So. Islam is a religion supposedly for Muslims, but it's not for Muhammad. Okay. Because if Muhammad was a Muslim, then he should obey all the teaching of Islam. He should not have a privilege upon or over Islam. Muhammad is above Islam. He is not a Muslim, and he never was. And the Quran is full of examples of Muhammad privilege. Actually, if you go to the to the tafsir as an example, Al Qurtubi, it says here. Ibn al-Arabi, he says, that the Prophet, he has 16 privilege. 11 of them is about his sexual desire. 11. Even he said, if the Prophet eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the Prophet can have her. That is not for Muslims. This is only for Muhammad. So Muhammad, obviously, he made a religion for his own. He's above the religion. And he made religion for the Muslims. So Islam is not for Muhammad. Islam is for the foolish one to follow Muhammad. You understand me? Uh, Derek, any follow-up question? Okay. Uh, I will I will give it to Badr Rex Aguilar to ask questions. Badr Rex Aguilar. Before you go, let me show you. This is Tafsir al qurtubi volume, yes. number, volume number 14, page number 212. And I will translate to you using Google translation. It says here that if the prophet, his eyes fall in a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet, he can have her. And here you ask yourself, what kind of a prophet this prophet is? 
It cannot be true. What kind of a prophet he do such a thing? Let me confirm the reference and I will translate. Here we go. I will use Google translation in front of you. Those are the privilege of Muhammad according to the scholars. And all his privilege is about his private part. You see, Jesus, he is our Lord, but he don't have a privilege. Actually, he did wash the feet of his disciples. And he told them, if you don't let me wash your feet, you don't belong to me. Muhammad, he want them to wash his feet. Muhammad, he want their women. Muhammad, he want their money. He have all those privileges. All of them is either about money or about his private part. And here you will see it says, it, number number 10, if the prophet beside a woman, his, uh, his sight fall in a woman, her husband must divorce her so he can take her and he F her, not marry her. To F her. What kind of religion this religion is? Any cult leader, all of them, they share two things. They want your money and they want your women. So my friend Derek, how in the world the Muslim, they were, you said almost you converted to Islam. How in the world you are going to convert to such a stupid, dirty, disgusting cult? Do you respect a man? He claimed to be a prophet. He come to your house. He like your wife. And he says to you, you have to divorce her so I can F her. Is that what the prophets do? Is that how God and his prophet work? Is that how a prophet, he served God by if in your wife? This is not from God. What does this have to do with God? And the man already, he have tons of women. Still, if his eyes fall into a woman, and by the way, he did that. And this, the reason they are saying that, because they are talking about what he did to his own son wife. He went to the house of his own son and he flirted with the wife in the house of the husband when she is married and he said to her praise be to Allah the one who flipped my heart for you this is forbidden totally in Christianity this is forbidden totally in the Old Testament this is one of the commands of God not to do you shall not wish you shall not desire you shall not take the women of someone else you shall not do that Muhammad he broke all the Ten Commands of God he was a liar he was a deceiver he was a cheater he was a rapist he was a child molester he was a killer he was a thief and here we go he go to his own son wife and he took her not only he flirted with her he took her I hope we give the answer to mr. Derek and he will be smarter. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's move again to the next question. Brother Rex Aguilar, you may ask Brother Christian whatever you like to ask all about uh, Islam. Yeah, good evening, Mudir. Tanong ko lang, uh, my question is, if Allah is not God, then who is Allah of Muslim? Well, Allah, first of all, is not the name of the God of the Muslims. If you go to chapter 1 in the Quran, Verse number two, you will see it says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. I know you don't know Arabic, but I will help you to understand better. You can look in the screen, which I will show you. I will zoom in in the, in the sentence so you can see. I hear myself twice, by the way. I don't know why. Let me see why. Oh, uh, let's mute. Okay, uh, okay go, go ahead, brother Christian Prince. All right. So it says here, the first verse, this is the chapter of Fatiha, which the Muslim, they say five times a day, and they curse us when they say it. But it says in, in verse number seven, don't make us the same as the Christians, the lost Christians, and the cursed Jews. Very filthy cult. Here in chapter, in verse number one, it says, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. If you look at the word Allah in the first verse, you will see it says that Allah look different from Allah underneath of it. Because it's not Allah. This is not the same. Why? Because here it says Allah in the top. Let me highlight it. 
and this and the one underneath it says li lah li lah it's not allah li in arabic mean two li lah here al lah now let us write it down so the first sentence says allah we will type it in arabic and in english Oh, we are typing in English now. All right. So this is Allah. This is the way it's written in the Quran. But in reality, it is Al. Let us type in English. Al, which is a word mean God. Al is a word mean God. La is the name of the God. So the name of the God of Muhammadan is not Allah, is God Lah. To confirm it more, verse number two, it says, Alhamdulillah, Li, Li, Lah. No Allah. Allah is gone. The A-L in the beginning is gone. So Alhamdulillah, Lah is the true name of the Muhammadan God. If you go and search in two seconds in Google, you will find, search for the God La, and you will find that La is the moon God. This is why if we go in chapter Yasin, verse number one, it says, Ya Sin, Ya Sin. If you ask the Muhammadan what Yasin mean, every one of them, he will give you a different answer. Why? Because they don't know. Muhammad, he is a thief. He stole the name of that God from other religion. What Yasin mean? Ya is a word meaning God in the ancient Hebrew, the ancient Aramaic, even in the ancient, other ancient languages too. Read with me and laugh. Ya seen. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain, they say, Allah knows best what he meant by those letters, but those are not letters. Ya is a word meaning God. Sin is the moon God. So it's just another name of the moon God, La. The same God, this is not different God. Sin usually is called in Europe. La is the name of the same God in the Middle East. Ya, Sin, Sin, this is why in English today, when somebody do something wrong, you say to him, this is sin, this is sin, why? When the European people and people who believe in God's sin, they converted to Christianity, so they start saying anything is wrong, they say this is sin, which means this is pagan, this is from the old time, this is from the time of the paganism, this is wrong. So the God of Muhammad, Aka Muhammad, Muhammad is making this Quran, he do not know, Mostly Muhammad, he copied uh, from a guy, his name is Waraq ibn Nawfal, and mostly he do not even know what he's copying. So, Ya is the name of the, uh, the word meaning God, God, and sin is a word meaning God. And ask yourself why Allah is even writing those things if he do not know what they mean. What, they, what do you mean by saying Allah knows best? So my friend, when the Muslims, they say that they have God, the question is, how come not a, not, not a single Muslim knows who is Allah? I challenge all the Muslims they are listening. If any of them can tell me who is Allah, the most popular question they will or answer they will give you, they will say Allah is the creator. Guess what? The God of Islam confirmed that there is many creators. He is not the only one. He claimed that he is the best of the creators. And then you ask yourself, if the Muslim they believe and they claim that they are monotheists, how the Quran confirm many creators? Either there is one creator, one God, or there is many gods. If there is many creators, then Allah is one of those creators, as he claimed, but there's no proof he can create anything. He's just claiming. And when Allah, he says he is the best of the creators, and this is in chapter 23, verse number 14, chapter 37, verse 125, and what make it more even worse in chapter 37, 125, Allah, he compare himself to Baal. Baal is the God of fertility, the God of sex. 
So Allah, he is saying supposedly, will you cry into Baal and forsake the best of the creators? Now, when Allah, he says, why you are praying to Baal when I am better than him? That means Baal is a creator and he is a creator. And you will notice, by the way, this is Baal, the name of Baal, the A-L, which means the word being God, appear at the end. In the old ancient languages, including Hebrew and Aramaic, the word God can appear at the end or at the end or the, or the beginning. So as an example, uh, we, can, we, you know, we say Emmanuel, E-L, this is the A-L, A-L. In the old Hebrew, it was A-L, and the new Hebrew became E-L. So E-L is Emmanuel, the end. But sometimes El appear in the in the beginning, Elohim. So El is God can appear in the end of the world or it can appear at the beginning of the world. As an example, Mikael, Mika is the name. El is the word God. Gabriel, Gabriel is the word. El is the word God. And here we have Baal. So Baal is the, is the name of the of the God. Al is a word mean God. And here we got Muhammad making a big poo poo. So he confirmed that he is the same as Baal. Both of them, they are creators. And Allah is the best. And here you ask yourself, if the Muslim, they will say, oh, Allah talking about creating a bicycle. Did Baal create a bicycle? Since when Baal is a bicycle creator? And since when bicycle is a creation? There's difference between a creation and the meaning of religion and creation in, in our meaning. I can say, I created uh, a game, but this is not a creation. Creation is you create something from nothing. This is why in the other verse in the Quran, the Quran is speaking about creating the baby, not the creating a bicycle. Chapter 23, verse number 14. It says here, then we fashioned the baby. And this is, by the way, showing another stupid mistake in the Quran. Because the one who made the Quran claiming that the baby is, you know, is made in a certain way, proving to us that Allah cannot be God. Look what he said. Then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood, which means dead blood. Then that clot, we made it into a lump. And then that lump, we, uh, we make it into bones. And then we close the bones with the flesh. Go and read any scientist website and laugh at this creation. Nowhere in any science it says that the sperm became dead blood. Dead blood never grows. It's dead. That's why they call it dead. Congealed blood is dead blood. And then at the end, Allah, he made the same poopoo again, Akam Muhammad. Here it says, Allah, the best of the creators, not to create here, the Muslim, they translate lying. If you change the translator, you will find right away, it says creators. This is why you cannot trust the Muslim translations. They lie. They love to lie. The only thing they are good about is to say to you, show me your face. But they cannot ask Allah how stupid you are to say you are the best of the creators when supposedly you are the only creator. However, if you go and read what is behind this story here, you will find the fraud Muhammad copying a guy. He was his scribe. His name is Abdullah ibn Sarh. When Muhammad was quoting this verse and Abdullah ibn Sarh was the scribe of Muhammad, when Muhammad was re, uh, saying to him to write this verse, he stopped here. This is the word of Muhammad. Until he arrived, he says, and it is another creation. Abdullah ibn Sarah, he said, so blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he liked the sentence. He told him, put it there. Abdullah ibn Sarah, he said to the prophet, but I am the one who said that. The Prophet said to him, it came to me the same as it came to you. And this is why this guy, he left Islam. And we can show you the story from the Islamic interpretation. We are not making things up. Here we go. I will put it in the screen. And then people will start laughing at such a prophet. He is copying his scribe word. He liked what he said. <laughs> so he added to the Quran. And this is why the Quran, he said to himself, you know what? If this guy claiming to be a prophet and he received inspiration, but I just received inspiration then too. Because I'm the one who said that. 
and this is exists in every Islamic interpretation, every Islamic interpretation. And this is a story mentioned by uh, 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 Ibn Abbas. So if we go, and we, there is we tons of interpretation, as an example, Tafsir al-Razi. Page number 86, variant number 23. Here it's explained how the person, how this person, he says, Tabarakallahu ahsanul khaliqeen. And this is the one Abdullah ibn Sarah he wrote. And this is the translation in English. How Muhammad is a prophet of God. And then he copy what this guy is saying. He put it in the Quran. And I'm so glad he did, by the way. Because if he did not did, you know, the more Muhammad mistakes he do, the more stupid things he do, the easiest for us to expose his lies. So Abdullah ibn Sarah, he said, Blessed be to Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he told him, write it down. Write this. He said to him, write it. But Abdullah, he said to him, but this is, I am the one who said that. I, I am the one who said, blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. It's not you. Muhammad, he said, write it, write it. This is how it was revealed to me too. <laughs> and here you see how Muhammad is proving so easy to be a scam. I hope I answered the question for this person. Who is next? Okay, thank you, uh, Brother Christian. And our program is only up to 10 p.m. But after this, uh, our program, we will transfer to watch your live video if it is okay to you. Sure, you, no? can, you can give the link of, but, of YouTube for people to join. And maybe we can get some Abdul to call us. Somebody is brave enough to talk to me and he will not bra bragging about show me your face and tell those coward Muslim Filipinos, shame on you. You promise a debate and when you show up, you start asking show me your face because this is the only excuse to run away. They are cowards. Okay, uh, but they're they not men. Okay. Okay, Brother Winda, is there anything you would like to say to Brother Christian before we close our program? Because it's already almost 10 p.m. here in the Philippines. Brother Wendell? Brother Wendell? Uh, it's still... Okay. It's, but, okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Brother Christian friends, no for Don't being worry. with us and answering questions related to Islam. Uh, brothers and sisters, we invited Christian friends and we listened uh, to the uh, premise of uh, Ustad Bashir. Uh, he said that he will bust Christian friends. He wants to listen about CP's knowledge about Quran. And we invited also the uh, ustads in uh, Islam because uh, the uh, promise in our uh, uh, our message the promise that to have a debate with CP so in the message of Bashir earlier that we invited Christian friends because we are afraid of uh, Ustaz Basel, that is only uh, his imagination. You can say whatever, and, and look, what so, happened. look what happened. He is the one who's afraid now. If you are afraid of him, because mm -hmm. uh, let us say you do not know anything about Islam, so how you can debate him about Islam anyway? You do not know anything. But the coward, he want to debate you about a topic you know nothing about it. The second he see that the person who knows what Islam is about, he back down and he run away. So he's accusing you that you, you are afraid. In fact, he is the one who is afraid. And he is the one who left like he lived like a puppy. He did not even leave like a dog. He lived like a puppy. And everybody will be laughed at him from now on. You have no dignity. You are not a man. Whoever they promised you to debate, they did not show up for a debate. The guy he showed up to complain. And he all wanna see is my face. He said he want five minutes to talk about Islam. I said, sure. Go ahead. He starts speaking in Tagalog and he was just complaining. And then when he started talking to me, 
all what he want is to see my face. This is telling you that they are making any excuse to escape. But this is good for us, my friend. We the Christians, we are victorious. I see some people, they speak in the chat saying Catholic, Protestant, etc. My friend, we all are Christians, believe, believe in Jesus, believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. We are one family. Catholic means universal. We are one family. It's not about Catholic only. We are followers of Jesus. So be a proud to be a person who believe in Christ, not in a church name. Christ is our Lord. And by Christ, we are defeating their God, cult God, fake God. Their God now is a trembling in his grave. Their God, Muhammad, now is in fear in his grave. And the day of judgment will come when Jesus will question this filthy man, Muhammad, for his crimes against mankind, for what he did, from being a child molester, to a thief, to a cheater, to a killer, to a liar, you name it. So we are victorious by his name, not by Christian prince. It is not a Christian prince who bring victory. It is the Messiah, the Christ, who his name is glorious. His act is a glorious. His life, his birth, his death is a glorious. And now even the Muhammadan, they understand very well that the glorious Messiah is living in heaven while their prophet is dead under the ground. We are the followers of the living God. They follow a dead man, Muhammad. So praise to the Lord. And please share my love to all Filipinos in Philippines. I love them all, including the Muslims. Please don't hate the Muslims. And we will not hate the Muslims. Even they are hateful against us. Even the Quran says in chapter 5, verse 14, Allah will spread hatred and enmity against the Christians until the day of judgment which is proven to us again that Allah is nothing but Satan. Jesus, he wants to spread love between us and between the Muslims. For Jesus, he loved the Muslims. He don't hate them. The Bible says, for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. The God of Muhammadan, because he's a satanic, in chapter 5, verse 14 says, I will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment. This is the act of Satan, my friend. This is not the act of God. God don't want to spread hate. Hate will not fix a problem. Satan want to spread hate. So how that can be from God? Same verses in the Quran in chapter 5 verse 51 says, Take not Christians and Jews as a friends and protectors. For Muhammad is a satanic man. He worships Satan and he is Satan himself. Actually, even the Muslim, they agree. That Muhammad, he received command from shaitan. The hadith says that Muhammad, he received command from a good shaitan. Have you ever heard of somebody say such a thing? He sent by God and he claimed that he had the same God of Moses. Yet he claimed that his God is shaitan. He said that I have a shaitan with me, a devil with me. The messenger, the, the companion, they said, and would you too? He said, yes, but Allah helped me against him. So I am saved from his hands, but he does not command me, but for good. So Muhammad admitted that he do receive command from the devil. So my friend, I will let you finish your program with your friends. I want to say thank you for inviting me. And if ever, the, if ever the Abdul dare to debate, please call me and you will see what will happen. All right. Okay, so, thank you, Brother Christian, for your time. Agenda. Yes, Tedna. Um, Glenn is asking if if Muslim is coming in, is um CP is gonna stay? They can call uh, me. Uh okay. Uh, they can call me in Skype. Okay, uh, you know, because he just said you know you are oh. done. You know, it's not about me staying. You guys are done, are saying. Anyway. Uh, I go live every day in YouTube. Any Muslim can join us. Any Ustaz, you are welcome. You do not need even to ask for time or preparing for time. I do not need to prepare for a topic. Just, you know, go to my Skype, call me, and I will be happy to have you. Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean 
to be bold, to say it as it is, not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody he is hiding something, even forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims, but doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.